to a course on sequence and series. In the previous lectures, we have seen the definition of a convergent sequence, limit of a sequence and divergent sequence as well. And we have worked out few problems on these as well. In this lecture, we are going to continue the problems of sequences to find out whether the given sequence is convergent or not and if it is convergent, what is the limit of a sequence. Even if it is divergent, when we are saying that as divergent. Let us see that. Here, the first sequence given is sin n pi. Now, whenever we try to find the limit of a sequence, what do we do? We make n approaches infinity and see what happens in it. That is one way of looking at it. Another way is try to write down the elements of a sequences and see what is happening there. Here, uh, n takes the values in the set of natural numbers, which means we will give n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and goes on. Right? And similarly, when you give here, you are going to get what? Sin 1 pi, that is going to be 0. And similarly, sin 2 pi, that is also going to be 0. Sin 3 pi is 0. Sin 4 pi is 0. And it is going this way. Right? Here you may notice that all the entries are going to be 0. Therefore, the limit of this sequence is going to be 0. Since the limit is a unique value, it is convergent. The limit is unique as well as finite. That is why we are coming to a conclusion that it is convergent. Right? Using the same idea that we have used for this problem, that is sin n pi, we may use the idea for sin 2 power n pi and cos, sorry, cos 2 power n pi and cos 2n plus 1 pi upon 2. Here, it is going to be what generally cos m pi is going to be either 1 or minus 1. This is for the case when m is even. And this is for the case when m is odd. Here, you may notice that your 2 power n is going to be even always. Therefore, you will always land in this case. And hence, your range is going to be simply a sequence consisting of 1, 1, 1, 1 and it is going this way. Therefore, the limit of the convergence is 1 and hence it is convergent. Right? And similarly, if you apply the same idea to the third one, here you will have 2n plus 1 is always even value, sorry, odd value, odd value pi upon 2 is going to be, what? Cos of this value is going to be 0. So it is going to be a sequence with all the entries 0, hence the limit of a convergence is 0 and this is convergent. Here, next is sin n. When you make your n goes infinity, n approaches infinity, what is going to happen? You don't know whether that n is odd or even, okay? Whether it is uh, in the form of uh, like what? Whether it is a rational number or irrational, you don't know anything about that, right? So, but you know that whatever may be the value of this n, your sign value will be maximum of 1 and minimum of minus 1. Therefore, if we denote the limit by L, the absolute of L is always less than or equals 1. Here, you may notice that the limit is not going to be unique one. Okay. So, it is some finite value of this sort, but it is not unique. Therefore, it is not convergent. Right? Now, coming to the next problem on this problem. In these two problems, you have sign n. Here, sign of some expression. Whatever may be the result of this expression, your sign value, the limit of the sign value is going to be, absolute of this value will be less than or equals 1. And you have 1 upon n here and 1 upon under root n here. These two will decide the limit. Since it is, the limit of these two is this. Okay. Here, this part makes your limit goes to 0 and hence it is convergent. Similarly, this part makes your limit to 0 and hence it is convergent. Now, we are going to look at these two cases. Here what is happening? It is 1 power 1 upon 1, 2 power 1 upon 2, 3 power 1 upon 3, 4 power 1 upon 4. Here the value is, if you leave this part and look at these things, 
your value is gradually decreasing right to the least what will happen that is what we need to check here now come to this what is this this is a is a positive quantity which is fixed a power uh, 1 a power 1 upon 2 a power 1 upon 3 what here what is going to happen the value is going to gradually decrease and it is approach it is going to approach to some value right what value would that be these are the questions here if you notice in the neighborhood of one okay whatever may be the smallest radius that you choose that is uh, the limit concept okay if you look for it you will have some elements of excuse me some elements of the sequence will be there in the neighborhood of one okay hence it is convergent here what is going to happen here also your limit is going to be one right so, uh, a simpler notation that we have uh, studied in our school days that is uh, one upon infinity is zero okay if this is some non-zero quantity some finite quantity then a power zero is one this we have studied in our school days itself using that idea the limit of the sequence is one and this is convergent right here uh, i would like to remark something okay uh, in uh, classical books like uh, walter students uh, we have categorized sequences into only two categories that is convergent and divergent when we think from the uh, view of uh, research we are interested in only two things whether it is convergent or not only that thing but doing problems we have something called oscillatory that is something between convergence and divergence that is oscillatory sequences oscillatory sequences are of two types they are oscillates finitely and oscillates infinitely for which we may give sign n as an example of oscillates finitely because you know the limit is going to be between minus 1 to 1 you don't know what exactly the limit is it may be anything in between this interval so it is the case for oscillates finitely supposing i have a sequence minus a power n a is some positive quantity and uh, in this case what will you get you may get either infinity or plus infinity so that comes under the case oscillates infinitely right hope you have uh, understood the concepts of uh, convergence and divergence of sequences let us remark one more thing we have seen the sequence that is 1 upon n okay it is convergent and it converges to 0 right in the space of real numbers with standard euclidean metric right now let me choose my metric space to be open at 0 and closed at 1 right now i am defining a sequence that is this a n is defined from uh, n to y with the same rule a n is 1 upon n here you may see that whatever may be the value of n that you give the values land in this y okay hence this a n is a sequence in y as well okay and when you try to find the limit of the sequence your 1 upon n converges to 0 but this is not a member of y what is happening here here the sequence is not convergent in y because the limit point is not a member of this metric space so having a limit point to a sequence is different from having the limit point of the sequence in a metric space itself that is very important whenever we say a sequence is convergent in a metric space the limit point must be a member of the metric space merely a sequence having a limit point cannot be declared to be convergent this is the remark that i uh, liked to remark here thank you